filter mist oil mist collectors use centrifugal impaction to remove or reclaim oil mist, coolant, fume and steam from a wide range of manufacturing operations. This short film shows Filtermist UK service engineers undertaking a routine service on a Filtermist centrifugal FX5002 oil mist filter. The unit in this film is mounted on a floor stand and attached to a thread rolling machine in facilities belonging to a company that manufactures fasteners for the aerospace industry. This particular customer requires two engineers to be present for all maintenance jobs. However, most services only require one engineer. You will need a basic toolkit, degreaser fluid and cleaning cloth to carry out the service. In the UK, a spares kit containing replacement silencers, seal, drum pad and AV mounts is sent to site before the engineer arrives. Ensure you are wearing all necessary personal protective equipment, PPE. If required, move the safety platform into position and secure. Seal off the place of work if necessary. Before starting a service, it is advisable to check that the filter mist unit is working. If it is not working, the unit may need replacing rather than a routine service. Switch the machine off and electrically tag off the machine tool to ensure it can't be activated accidentally while the engineer is carrying out the service. Remove the oil return tube. If the unit is not directly mounted onto the machine tool, Undo the Jubilee clip on the ducting and remove the ducting. Remove safety bolts if applicable. If the installation includes an after filter, this will need removing from the unit. Visually inspect the after filter for wear and tear. Remove the safety clip. Remove the outer casing. Spray degreaser inside the outer casing. Leave for a few minutes to soak in. Wipe to remove oil residue. The amount of dirt will vary depending on the application and how regularly the unit is serviced. If the casing is very dirty, this step may need to be repeated. Insert a socket inside the drum to undo the 10mm fixing bolt. Spin the drum to loosen and remove. And here's a tip. If the drum proves difficult to remove, you can use an extraction bar. Take out the seal and silencer pads. Undo the bolts that hold the motor in place. Lift the motor out and turn upside down. Replace the AV mounts. Reposition the motor. Tighten the bolts.
spray and clean inside the lid of the unit. Here's another tip. If the old silencer pad is not too dirty, you can use this to clean inside the lid, casing and drum. The abrasive surface is useful for removing stubborn residue and means less new consumables are used. Insert a new seal. Replace the silencer pads. Clean the drum inside and outside. When cleaning the drum, check that the blades are not protruding. Insert new drum pads and smooth into place. Reposition the drum and then secure onto the shaft using a split ring, washer and 10mm bolt. Position the casing over the drum and clip to secure. Tighten the safety bolts. Put the after filter back on. Position the ducting and secure using the Jubilee clip. Push the oil return tube over the pipe in the side of the casing. Clean the F monitor if one is fitted. Wipe down the stand or bracket if required. Unlock and remove the safety tank and switch on the machine tool. If the installation includes an F monitor, this should now be displaying a green light to show that the level of extraction specified for time of installation is being maintained. Check the airflow using an anemometer. If the combined readings from all extraction points are more than 10% lower than the last reading, this may indicate that the after filter needs replacing. Apply a sticker showing the date of service so it is easy for operatives to identify when the next service needs scheduling. Show the customer the results of the airflow check and discuss any specific recommendations. Once the customer is satisfied with the job, it can be signed off. Filter mist. Protecting people. Cleaner, safer, more productive workshops.